Hello and welcome. I wanted to start something a little different. Um, I'm going to call this motivation and inspiration, and I'm going to read occasionally from um, amazing books that I have access to, and um, and just read the motivation and inspiration that I'm getting from them. And see uh, what you might get from it as well. So today we're going to do start with why. Um, by Simon Sinek, and um, there's just this little couple pages I wanted to read you from this book, and thanks for watching, listening. <laughs> there are leaders and those there are those who lead, with only 6% market share in the United States and about 3% worldwide. Apple is not a leading manufacturer of home computers, yet the company leads the computer industry and is now a leader to other industries as well. Martin Luther King's experiences were not unique, yet he inspired a nation to change. The Wright brothers were not the strongest contenders in the race to take the first manned powerful flight, but they led us to a new era of aviation and in doing so completely changed the world we live in. Their goals were not different than anyone else's and their systems and processes were easily replicated. Yet the Wright brothers and Apple and Martin Luther King stand out among their peers. They stand apart from the norm and their impact is not easily copied. They are members of a very select group of leaders who do something very, very special. They inspire us. Just about every person or organization needs to motivate others to act for some reason or another. Some want to motivate us to purchase a purchase decision. Others are looking for support or a vote. Still others are keen to motivate the people around them to work harder or smarter or just follow the rules. The ability to motivate people is not in itself difficult. It is usually tied to some external factor. Tempting incentives or threat of punishment will often elicit behavior we desire. General Motors, for example, so successful motivated people to buy their products that they sold more cars than any other automaker in the world of over 70 years. Though they were leaders in the industry, they did not lead. Great leaders in contrast are able to inspire people to act. Those who are able to inspire give people a sense of purpose or belonging that has little to do with any external <laughs> incentive or benefit to be gained. Those who truly lead are able to create a following of people who act not because they're swayed, but because they were inspired. For those who are inspired, the motivation to act is deeply personal. They are less likely to be swayed by incentives. Those who are inspired are willing to pay a premium to endure inconveniences, even personal suffering. Those who are able to inspire will create a following of people, supporters, voters, customers, workers, who act for the good of the whole, not because they have to, but because they want to. Though relatively few in number, the organizations and leaders with the natural ability to inspire us come in all shapes and sizes. They can be found in both the public and private sectors. They are in all sorts of industries, selling to consumers or to other businesses, regardless of where they exist. They, have, they all have a disproportionate amount of influence in their industry. They have the most loyal customers and the most loyal employees. They tend to be more profitable than others in their industry. They are more innovative. And most, most importantly, they are able to sustain all these things over the long term. Many of them change industries. Some of them even change the world. The Wright brothers, Apple, and Dr. King are just three examples. Harley Davidson, Disney, Southwest Airlines are three more. John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan were also able to inspire. No matter from where they hail, they all have something in common. All the inspiring leaders and companies, regardless of size or industry, think, act, and communicate exactly alike. And it's of the complete opposite of everyone else. What if we could learn to think, act, and communicate like those who inspire? I imagine a world in which the ability to inspire 
is practiced not just by a chosen few, but by the majority. Studies show that over 80% of Americans do not have their dream job. If more knew how to build organizations that inspire, we could live in a world in which each statistic was reversed, a world in which over 80% of people loved their jobs. People who loved going to work more than product, productive and more, uh, people who love to work are more productive and more creative. They go home happier and they have happier families. They create their colleagues and clients and customers better, inspire employees to make for stronger companies and stronger economies. This is why I wrote this book. I hope to inspire others to do things that inspire them so that the, together we may build the companies and economy and world and trust and loyalty and are the norm, not the exception. This book is not designed to tell you what to do or how to do it. Its goal is not to give you a course of action. Its goal is to offer you a cause of action. For those who have an open mind for new ideas, who seek to create long lasting success, and who believe that your success requires the aid of others, I offer you a challenge. From now on, start with why. <laughs> this book has already been such a gift for me because I, um, I really have been getting more present to my why. Why am I doing this? Why? Why am I a facilitator of change? Why do I facilitate business on different classes? Um, why am I an access consciousness certified facilitator? And it's because I desire a world where 80% or more of the people are happy. <laughs> that they love their jobs, whatever their jobs are, right? And that we can, we can have a life and a living that's different than the norm, that's inspiring, that's fun, that's joyful, that's easy, that has more ease to it. What would that be like? I do actually have a business done different class starting tomorrow. <laughs> so if you're inspired to join us and have some fun with that, great. And if you want to come back, I'm going to do more inspiration and motivation readings um, on a regular basis here. So thank you for being here. If you liked it, like it, hit thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a magical day.